Good morning, uh, good afternoon, good evening, uh, Audacious Church, wherever you are. Uh, I hope this finds you well. I bless the name of the Lord for you who is listening to this. My name is Jacqueline. I am based at the Manchester campus here in central Manchester. And uh, it's my absolute privilege to be bringing you today's devotion. So I wanted to share um, a story that um, um, that really inspired me recently. So I also work with the um, amazing team uh, within uh, Audacious Foundation and I lead or oh, I co-lead uh, with um, another co uh, team member uh, on the project called HOME. So I work with individuals who are on the um, transition from supported living or supported accommodation into independent uh, living and I provide a, a range of support from practical um, um, mentoring um, peer support and sometimes um, yeah also sometimes I can just be uh, a peer someone's peer but uh, the aim is to kind of um, uh, support people empower them encourage them boost their skills because the skills are there it's just that um, it's a lack of confidence so I do a lot of talking i do a lot of um, encouraging and empowering so i recently um was inspired uh, or taken back <laughs> by one of the residents i support so this resident we've had uh, we've been supporting him for about 18 months and around normally between 12 and 18 months we we'll kind of review our support because we want to be we we we, we want to we don't want to uh, people to be independent of us but um be to become Sorry, we don't want to be them to be dependent on us, but to be independent. That's the whole aim. So um, I we kind of review what are we doing, how are we helping them move on to the next stage, and if we are not, it's not working. We kind of review how can we do it better. So I was I was with this resident. I was asking him what can we do because I was concerned that we are not making progress, and I started going through the list of things that we had planned to do or we had talked about or some of the things I had suggested and he was to think about them and get back to me and no nothing had happened. So as I was still going on, going on uh, with myself, like I later on realized, going on with myself, he stopped me and said, no, I don't agree with you. He looked me in the eye, which is um, out of his character. Normally he will be a yeah, yeah, yeah person. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, sorry about that. Sorry, I'm wasting your time. He oh, is always very apologetic thinking he's wasting my time. But this time he said, I looked me in the eye and said to me, I don't agree with you. And he said, every single time you come here, you lift my spirit up. Um, I may not be able to do, or I'm not, I may not have achieved A, B, C, D, but actually you coming here and tell me, empower me, encourage me, and it motivates me. It shows me that I have value. It shows me that someone cares for me. Someone cares about my existence. And he was, he shared a story with me, um, uh, an experience he had, uh, um, in his life, he's had in his life where he spent months in hospital um unconscious um sorry yeah on a hospital bed unconscious and how uh, not, not even his family were visiting him nobody visited him and he told me that the only person he had in his life at that time was the nurse who was feeding him and that's all and he told me you coming here to see me is that adds value to my life it gives me value it really i am i'm able to think about the things i've ever thought about uh, doing in life but I've not been able to do it makes me dream again it makes me hope um, uh, it brings back hope in 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 me in life and in purpose in my purpose so that kind of took me back and as he was speaking to me he was sharing his experience with me it reminded me of a verse of uh, uh, Matthew uh, 25 um, where Jesus was talking to us about uh, the, the the whole I think the 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 the, the topic of um, or the heading of the verse is God's sheep um, sheep uh, sheep and God the sheep and the gods that's what it says and I want to kind of pick it up in uh, verse 36 so he's talking about to us about um, uh, what we've done during during our life during our um, life here on earth the people we have impacted so I want to pick it up in 36 in verse 36 where he says I needed clothes and you clothed me I was sick and you looked after me I was in prison and you came to visit me so his disciples return or kind of ask, when did we ever do this? Because obviously 
if you if you, if you're with Jesus, I believe you would have um uh, not um, um you would be able to know that you you're with Jesus and you're doing all this. And then he he responded in verse forty. Um, the king will reply, "I tell you truth, whatever you did for one of the least of these brothers of mine, you did for me." So for me, this is a, a typical um um. Um, indication of small wins, the power in small wins. So whereas I was looking at all this list of things that we were talking, going back to, to my resident, to, to, to the resident I was talking about, I was looking at all these things that we should have achieved. For him, there was that thing, that's something, the progress or the, the win that we could not put um, uh, number to. We, I couldn't quantify it. I, could, I, I couldn't uh, put um, any any kind of, it, it's not something I had even noticed that was happening. To him, it's really important that someone cares for him. Someone is there who are worried about him because I started off with saying, I'm really worried about you. This, that, this and this and that. And then he said, so the fact that someone actually takes time to worry about me to me that is that is huge a few times i've asked to pray for to pray with him and he always says no and he brought it back and says even sometimes you've offered to pray for me yeah and he, he there's there's a way he made me kind of just sink in my thoughts sink in 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 whatever i was um what was whatever kind of feelings i was going on within myself and to me i i, I actually um um if i i, I was um uh, writing this i would uh, a title this devotion as the power or the magic of small wins so it's those small wins that we can't put quantity or we can't put numbers to that matter when we are helping people we may not be making progress but it the fact that someone you someone feels so you take time to care about someone you take time to go and visit someone or make them a call um uh call them or text them it does really add value to them to in, into their lives so this is something that i wanted to think about i wanted you guys to think about the power of small wins and also to encourage you to check uh to check us out at foundation uh audaciousfoundation.com uh we are looking for more team members to join the team yeah i just want to leave you with that thought uh of the power of small wins and I bless the name of the Lord for you again. Thank you very much for listening in and hope you have a lovely day wherever you are. Thank you. Bye.